What's going on, everyone? Pickup of the day yesterday, one of two, which we're looking at right now, is the, I don't want to say a re-release or a new release, but I guess it is a newer release for Vans. Um, this is the slip-on cap non-lux version. Um, take a look at this here. If you are familiar with the silhouette already, or silhouettes, I should say, because it's kind of like a mashup of two. See here, it evidently it is the slip-on with the elastic right there, but you can lace it up just as well. So, last year, I, I guess I'm saying last year now, 2018, we're in 2019 right now. This caused quite a stir as uh, people were under the influence of, um, I guess, the belief that this was an official or non-official Virgil Abloh off-white collab, but with like branding pulled off it because at the time um, he was signing himself with Nike and I guess he, he didn't want or couldn't have his name affixed to another company or another shoe company or rival company, something like that. So. Um, it, it went on without being branded anything, but people just, just because of how it was like that deconstructed and, um, you know, the whole build stitching, it looked very, um, like, you know, very off-white-esque. So this is this New Year's re-release. This is not the Lux. This is just the slip-on cap. And there is the high, or skate high cap, um, the Lux version or LX, had a lot of leather detailing, where on this one's also evident because there is a nice grain of suede on the toe box and up the eyelets. Um, this probably would have been leather um, if this were the Lux, but this is the elastic right there. You can see it's like, you know, crudely stitched on, but stitched on nonetheless. The checkerboard, see there, clearly checkerboard. Right there, stitching's pretty good all around on that one. And this, of course, would have been on the back. Dan's tag. Let's see, we got a sticker on the bottom. Okay, other shoe is uh, identical, of course. We're not missing anything. I would have thought it would have been cool if they would have like mismatched the shoes as well, like had something else that was like visibly off from like the right and the left. But that was not the case. Not this time around. Um, one thing I will look at, and this is gonna be some deviation, is gonna be like the quality of like the suede. I guess not necessarily the quality, but like the cut. Um, you can at least I can see, and I think you should be able to as well, there's clearly like more of a nap. To this toe box right here versus this one here which is a little more smooth a little more subtle um, and same thing even with the eyelets see there like it's a little I'd say rough but you can definitely tell there's a deviation in texture from there to there so I guess I guess they are like they're different in their own right um, color for the most part is going to look a little different just because of the fact that, you know, it's, it's a different nap. It's going to have like different shading. But same shoe nonetheless. Box itself is a regular Vans box more or less. Slip on cap, checkerboard, true white, black. All the sizing, there's a picture of it, and that is the shoe. Um, that's that. I do have a video coming up for the high. It will follow this one. If I can do both of them today, that would be both today. Um, so, if you enjoyed this, if you got any questions, concerns, comments, leave them down below. Thank you for all the views for the last couple of videos. Um, I just do this for fun. I hope that there's someone out there that, you know, if this solidifies them buying the shoe or not buying it, I've done my job and I've really helped them. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a comment down below, subscribe, like, whatever it is, uh, and we'll go from there next time. So thanks for watching, and uh, appreciate y'all.